Hi folks, welcome to video four. Welcome also Adam, he's back. We're going to talk a little bit about the drawing that we completed and what do you do after you complete a drawing. So for first off, what I want to make the point, Adam, is that having gone through these five panels, each of us, but in this case yours, you want to spend a few times through them again, letting them kind of really burn into your your neurology, into your into your brain and your body. And the way to do that is not particularly to begin interpreting yours or mine, but to just breathe in, literally breathe in panel one and and let that be present and create whatever experience it creates in your mind, in your body. So, so you kind of breathe it in and then you let a felt sense happen with panel one. Let's just do that. And then you're going to do the same thing down here. Understanding, of course, that panel two is separating out the story, the storyboard, and the story with how I feel, how you feel about this story. So we just take a moment, breathe in, and notice, I notice, what experience does that create in my body as I do that? The color and the pattern, what happens in my body as I let that touch me. Okay, got that. Creates in this case a you know positive, basically positive experience in my body. Then we go to, to panel three. Now panel three, as you remember, is is how you this is how you do feel about your story. Panel three is how you want to feel about your story. And we just take a moment, breathe that in, especially me as the person who didn't create this drawing. And I let it a felt sense emerge. For me, what, what happens in my body as I let that settle in. And then we do the same thing, panel four. Panel four is, of course, the resource. What needs to be different inside of you, Adam, so that you can actually begin having this experience about your story, not this experience about your story. So this is really the powerful one. That's the transformative experience that you want to help you move to having this experience about your story. And I invite each of us once again to just breathe in that panel four. And just to allow whatever experience happens in here to happen without a real overly connected interpretive. And then we're going to do the same thing five. Five, as, as you remember, this is, this is bringing the transformation which has already happened as a result of our expressing how we do feel, how we want to feel, and the resource, transformative resource to allow us to have this new relationship to our story. So this story is gone. This story now is the new relationship and bringing that into the world a little bit. So we just take it, we take here again about five seconds, kind of breathe it in, let that touch us. And you know, and here it's interesting because we, could, we do have this contrast now between storyboard and news story. And you know, it's a pretty substantial, interesting difference. So then just like you know how you can make you know little cards and you can make an animation by having every card be just a little bit different you can kind of flip through it you're kind of doing that in your mind but now instead of 5 seconds you kind of go through and do 3 seconds here you know 3 seconds here 3 seconds here 3 seconds here seconds here. Now kind of it's it's usually kind of interesting and enjoyable and helpful to spend a little bit more time in these last three. And then then really quickly you're just kind of going, you know, one second. It kind of burns it into our neurology, into our body a little bit. And that's also the same way you would understand somebody else's drawing. Uh, 
rather than trying to think, well, what are all these weird colored people and what's this green thing? And uh, Instead of trying to think your way through it, you're just breathing mine in, let it touch you. Breathe this in, let it touch you, this, this, and this. And so you're using, you're leading with your intuitive mind and you're allowing my drawing to touch you, teach you a little bit more about me as I did with yours. And that is probably the, the most important way to work with a drawing after you've completed it. The other point I would make is uh, looking at, at your drawing the day after you've slept. After you've slept on this and all this stuff has continued to simmer, you'll, you'll notice the next day that there's a, you know, an, an enhanced or extended or, or more affectionate experience you're having for your drawing, especially if it's one way you've been stuck. Uh, these two uh, were both really interesting questions. What to do with your life having graduated from college in cinematography. What to do, in my case, with this 10-day uh, uh, program, 10-minute-a-day program. So two big kind of interesting questions for us. So that's the suggestions. Y you can follow those and notice how it works with your drawings and also uh, other people's drawings. So thanks for tuning in.